What is up my friends? You are very welcome along to our player ratings here on Anfield Agenda after Liverpool have comfortably beaten Toulouse by five goals to one. A pretty perfect night. Yes, we could have done with not conceding, but all in all, who doesn't love five goals, a Darwin Nunes goal, a Mohamed Salah goal, an Endo header and everything else that happened, Jota's goal and Gravenberg's as well. So look, I'm going to go through, give the players a rating out of 10. Ask you guys, of course, to let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Do drop a like on the video and if you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do. Look, let's get straight into it because we have a lot to get through tonight. Quivine Kelleher. This is a difficult one for me as an Irish man to say, but I do feel he could have done better with the goal. It's one of those awkward ones. If you're a goalkeeper, you know what I'm talking about. The closer to your body, underneath your arm, it's played, it's difficult to get down to it. So they're the split second decisions you make about using your leg or, or going down with your body. And I have sympathies for him, but I still feel he should have done a bit better with it. So with that in mind, I'm going to give Quivey a score of six out of 10. I think for the rest of the game, he looked comfortable. Almost gave to the goal as well, but look, we won't run from that. So I'm giving him a score of 6 out of 10. Trent Alexander-Arnold, tonight's captain, and I thought he put in a captain-like performance. Very, very statesman-like out there tonight, Trent. Spent most of his time in that quarterback role, uh, you know, just, just in the centre circle, spraying passes about, and did it very well. So look, for me tonight, I'm going to give Mr. Alexander-Arnold a score of 7 out of 10, and... Uh, Again, he's just getting better and better with that responsibility, that leadership role. I think it suits him, so well done, Trent. Uh, Joel Matip. Look, Joel Matip is consistency personified. He very, very rarely lets you down, Joel. There's been maybe a handful of times I can think of in his Liverpool career where I've thought he's had a stinker. And today, today he won those battles aerially. Um, he couldn't really do anything where he was about the goal that we conceded. It wasn't uh, it wasn't his part of the pitch to defend. So other than us conceding, I thought Joel Matip managed the game very well. So give Joel also a score of 7 out of 10. Moving on to Mr. Joe Gomez today. I uh, wish that strike from him had gone in because I would have loved to have seen Joe celebrate a goal. But look, all in all, very tidy performance from Joe. Much like Joel Matip, didn't really do too much wrong. A couple of loose passes at the start of the game, but that was a feature of the opening 15 minutes or so from both teams. So, again, like Joel Matip, I'm going to give Joe a score of 7 out of 10. Now we move to Young Chambers, who, look, he was a little bit, I think, overexcited. He was trying to just nip in and, and win the ball early. But unfortunately, the Toulouse player copped what he was looking to do, changed the angle of the pass up, and then once the pass was played into the area of the pitch that he had vacated, it was down to a one-on-one -on -one between the Toulouse player and, and Quivian Kelleher. So he'll learn from that. And if you do have young players in these type of circumstances and a mistake is made, best that happens in a game where we go on to win it comfortably. But look, I've no doubt that he has a bright future ahead of him. Tonight will be a big step for him, and I'm sure he will use it. He'll work with Jurgen and the coaches. So I'm going to give him a score of 6 out of 10. Don't want to be too harsh on the young man. So that's my thoughts on his performance. Let me know if you agree. Moving into this gentleman here, and look, as a man who's eaten not just humble pie, a lot of pie, obviously, but as a man who's eaten a lot of humble pie over Ryan Gravenberg, I think there's a lot of people who, who need to start apologising to Mr. Watoro Endo, because at the start of our watch-along, people, some people were being pretty, pretty horrible towards Endo, and thankfully he heard, he listened, and he decided he was going to score a header and boss the game after that, so... I think Watoro Endo was fantastic tonight. I thought his goal was brilliant. And we're going to give him a score of 9 out of 10. So put that in your pipe and smoke it, Endo haters. Actually, Endo in a pipe? Scratch that. Moving on to the next one. Mr. Ryan Gravenberg, who just oozes class, doesn't he? Imagine saying that you were unsure about signing. Imagine being that guy. Yeah, look, I'm very, very happy to be proved very, very wrong. Ryan Gravenberg is getting better and better with each performance. He just makes it look so effortless. He's silky, he's smooth, he uses class. And he got himself a goal today as well, which, of course, the Anfield Agenda audience asked for at one point in the game, and Ryan delivered. So Ryan also gets a score today of 9 out of 10. Brilliant performance from the young man, who Klopp says is only at 50% yet. So, you know, watch this space. Moving on to Curtis Jones, who came in for a little bit of flack again in our post-match show from people, which is... Weird, he's not in a rhythm at the minute because, of course, he's been serving a three-game domestic ban. So he's just getting a few runouts in, in the Europa League these days. So look for Curtis Jones. I'm not going to be harsh on him tonight. He has shown he deserves to be at this level. And I didn't think he was all that bad tonight, in all honesty. But I'm going to give him a score of 6 out of 10. 
Moving on now to Harvey Elliott. And it was a difficult one for Harvey because when we signed him, we probably all expected that to be the position that he was going to be vying for, that he was going to be maybe a backup to Mohamed Salah, uh, a winger who cuts inside. But Klopp has moulded him into a number 10 or a midfielder. So tonight to see him back out there, I thought he did okay. Didn't set the world on fire. It was steady as she goes. His pressing is always top notch. So I'm going to give him a score of 7 out of 10. Let me know if you agree or disagree with my score for Mr. Harvey Elliott. Moving on to the assassin himself, Diogo Jota. I mean, it was just beautiful watching him run towards the Toulouse goal and everybody backing off. And there was four or five players around him at one point. And he still managed to find a way into the penalty area. And as soon as he slipped to the right, you knew what was happening. And he buries it past the keeper into the bottom corner. A very Diogo Jota-esque type of goal and a good performance from him. So Diogo gets a score of 8 out of 10. Moving on to Darwizzi. And look, some people will tell you he didn't mean it. But I know he meant it. I know that that was an assist for Ryan Gravenberg. The tale goes that apparently he caught the reflection of Gravenberg in the post. A light shone down and he seen the red shirt of Gravenberg coming in behind him. And he just thought, what's this? And he played it off the post. Could have scored, but he wasn't selfish. He played it off the post. Gravenberg came in, went to his left, slotted a pass to the defender and the keeper. And, and that's it. He was sharing the goals around tonight. That's all Darwin was doing. So Darwin, well done. Unselfish. He's got a goal and an assist. And we'll give him a score of 8 out of 10. Captain Chaos doing what he does best. Right, we move on to this gentleman here, young Callum Scanlon, uh, who of course came on later in the game, but I thought done very well. You know, he, he looked lively. It's always difficult to gauge substitution appearances when they come on, particularly in a game where we haven't won at that point, but that's what we want, right? We want to be able to blood these youngsters through, so we're going to give Mr. Scanlon a score of 7 for his little cameo, which I think is more than fair. Moving on to Mr. Cody Gakpo. Great to have him back. You know, we missed him since he hasn't been available. This will be the start of his comeback, of course. And you can make the argument about whether he starts against Forrest or not on the weekend. But I didn't really remember too much when he came on, to be honest. Now, I'm being honest and saying here, I really just don't remember much about Gakpo when he came on. So I'm going to play it safe and give him a score of six. But if you think I've been harsh... I'm very much open to criticism on this one. Sometimes I just have to put my hands up and say, this close after the match ended and I haven't watched it back. I don't really remember. I was in full celebration mode, by the way, at that point. So we're going to move on to Gerald Kwanzaa. And there was sometimes he was like right wing back, just up in Mohamed Salah's position. It was nuts, but I also love it. And Gerald Kwanzaa has the world at his feet. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing him develop. But again, as a substitute appearance, it's difficult. But because I've seen him so far up the pitch, I'm giving him an extra point. I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. Mohamed Salah broke another record tonight. I think it's with 43 goals now. He surpasses or passes Thierry Henry as the Premier League player with the most goals in Europe. Another record for the great man. That goal tonight was a thing of beauty. He could have hit it on his left, but he sold the dummy, manipulated his body, let it roll across into his right foot, lifted it past the keeper off the underneath of the baron into the goal, breaking Thierry Henry's record, making all of us smile, and again looking like he is enjoying his football. So the great man gets a score of 8 out of 10 for his cameo and, of course, his goal. Uh, young McConnell, young James McConnell came on and again I think he did well down that left hand side, got a couple of crosses in, um, seemed confident but it's very difficult again to gauge substitute appearances so I've got to give him a score of 6 um, but I wouldn't read anything into that other than he didn't really get too long to play so that's why he gets a 6 and finally Mr Jurgen Norbert Klopp I think he got the mix right tonight and it's sometimes difficult because you've got to be respectful to the opposition, you've got to give the youngsters a chance, you've got to rotate and rest players and one thing I'll always remember about tonight's game was looking at the bench before the game and just reading through it like seeing Alisson, uh, Van Dijk, Salah, it, it was like, it was just Dominic Sobis, it was just a who's who of of talent on the bench so that we won't get to see that very often but I think Klopp did exactly what we wanted tonight got the result blooded some youngsters through made the changes when needed freshened it up so Jurgen gets a score of 9 out of 10 it was pretty much near perfect for me from the gaffer so that is our player ratings it is now over to you guys to let us know your thoughts in the comment section let me know if you agree or disagree with the scores that we've given. Of course, we want to know your thoughts on it all as well. Do hit that subscribe button and I will see you same time tomorrow, hopefully. Much love, my friends. Thank you for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.